All right, welcome back to this New York Knicks My NBA. It's been a while, but I have an idea in mind at the trade deadline to put this team over the hump to make us a championship contender. If we go to league standings, I don't know if this is going to be even possible, but I'm going to try. We go all the way down to the 12th seed. You already know where I'm going. LeBron James is currently on the 12th seed of the Lakers who don't even have Anthony Davis no more. Their second best player is Pascal, and they got Mark Kell Foltz. He needs to leave. He needs to get out of there. And I plan on making that a reality. And that is the first thing we're going to try and do in this video to try and make us a championship team. Because right now, I believe we're sitting at the sixth seed. Uh, so making $50 million, I believe, as a player option. So, nope, not RJ Bear. So this will most likely be... Um, Corey Grimes having a decent season. Uh, one year rental, most likely. And we might have to give up Aiden. I know. I know it's not great, but I mean, we're getting LeBron James. I think we can swing and make another trade for a center. It makes sense. It's kind of realistic because they got Pascal. I'll move him to the power forward because they don't have one. And I don't know why they re-signed him, but they're young anyways. They can start a youth movement. They can t um, tr get DeAndre Ayton and stay competitive at least for next year. And we're going to throw in some younger players. We're going to throw him a Mar... No, not Mari Bailey. Uh, who was it? Because I already did this, like, um, a kind of a practice one, almost. Oh, yeah, we gave him Quentin Grimes. Uh, and two million more. Who else was it? Jay Crowder. It was Jay Crowder, and we will take this guy. Uh, obviously, this is not going to work right away. And we are going to give up our first round pick this year. That did it. LeBron James, welcome to New York. I did not think that would be all it took, and it is. We are going to move LeBron to actually to the power forward. We're going to have LeBron play power forward because I just realized we're playing Scoot Henderson at the two. Um, I'm actually going to officially move his position to a two because it'd be easier. Wow, what a trade. Obviously, that leaves us struggling a lot at the center position, and it moves Obi Top into the bench. We could play Obi Top in a center and go really small ball. But I do want to try and trade for a center. So I should actually go to NBA standings and see who on a bad team, a solid center like Yaka Pertle will be really nice. And see who I can trade for. Uh, like a Miles Turner. Not, he's not really good in 2K. Uh, Miami Heat. I cannot get Bam out of battle trade. There is no way. They lost Tyler Hero, huh? Is he hurt? Yeah, he's hurt. Okay. But well, this team is really bad, even with Tyler Hero. Bro, Kemba Walker's your starting point guard. Um, there's not really much in the Eastern Conference for starting centers. If we go to the Western Conference, let's see. Utah Jazz, they got Nas Reed. Right now, Yaka Perto is probably the best player to trade for. Jalen Duran would be nice. Jalen Duran would be really nice, but I don't see the Venom doing that because they're already a young team. Uh, Kevin Love, not really a defensive set. Zubach would be nice. I need to see who's making what. I need to see how much uh, Yaka Proto's making and Zubach is making. Uh, Zubach is making $11 million this year, and that's it. So he will be a free agent. We just gave them Aiton. Uh, Mitchell Robinson's on the Suns. We don't really want him back. So, yeah, I think it's really between... Vooch? How much is Vooch making? Is he still... Yeah, he's still making his contract. So that, that, that's not happening. Um. So, yeah, it's really between... Yakaperto and Ivita Subach. So let me see how much Yakaperto is making down there in Washington. I think they're both going to be free agents, right? Yeah, so Yakaperto is making slightly less, and I believe he's playing better. Yeah, he's playing a lot better. So you know what? I think we're going to go try and trade for Yakaperto. Uh, will it be possible? Maybe. I mean, picks, picks answer everything, all right? Picks will answer everything. Give him a nice young player. You want this guy? Okay, no, we actually need to make the salaries match, which might be difficult. Ooh, making the salaries match is going to be very difficult. We need to make up 6 mil. And Obi Toppin, who... I don't think we're going to be able to make up this trade. 3 mil. Yeah, we really... We only got people on minimums. We only got people on minimums. This trade might not happen. 1 mil. Nope, not LeBron. Not LeBron James. Uh, Mo Wagner, I guess. This this might be too big of a stretch. I think this is going to be too big of a stretch to try and get Jakob Pertl. So that will 
unless I can trade players for bigger contracts. Like, I don't want to give up Toppin. I like Obi Toppin. So, let's see. Let's see, can I package Montrez and I guess Mo Wagner? He's not even playing for us. And see if we can get a player making a bit more. All right, we can actually get Trey Murphy and a first round pick. That will give us a nice, nice $5 million to try and trade. And let's see. I want to keep Amari Bailey. I like to keep Bailey. Uh, so that means one of these two can go because one of them can move to the shooting guard because I want to play Bailey. Uh, I, I think I'd rather keep Lou Dort because I think I just traded for him in the Portland deal. Even though Kennard's playing great uh, shooting-wise, I'm going to trade him. Trade these two, see if we can make up a decent contract. Met two for four mils, not bad. We can get another first-round pick. That'd be ideal. Um, if no one else, another first round pick. Two million dollars. Another first round pick. It's out here throwing first round picks out here like it's nothing. I think this is the best trade because this dude's making almost four million and we get a first. So now let's see if we can try and uh, make this trade happen for Yaka Pertle. Because we're, go we're going all in on this year. We went all in. We just traded our future center in DeAndre Ayn, who we just got last season, I believe. Or the season before. For LeBron James. Uh, we also have this dude. Who will most likely make the contracts match. We'll also give you this guy. You just need to give us your lowest rate. Your lowest paid. For, oh boy. 300k. We have no one on our roster. Oh my god. <laughs> we have no one on our roster. I think we. I think we. Wow. Nothing. Alright. You know what? I might need. I think I need to sign some players. All right, the contracts finally match up. This might be able to do it straight up, and it does. Uh, I'll do that trade a million times. And that means our starting lineup is set. Lillard, Scoot Henderson, R.J. Barrett, LeBron James, who will not be wearing the number 20. You will be wearing number 6. I don't know who has it on. And Yaka Pertle, Lou Dor, Obi Toppin, Amari Bailey off the bench. We just need that last guy. We need a backup center who we can probably trade for. We can find a backup center easily. With the uh, players we just signed, like Marquise Chris and Royce O'Neal. And throw in a super late first round pick. Yeah, we got a lot of picks from those trades. And let's see if we can find ourselves a nice backup center. Uh, Maybe not, actually. The market is kind of dry when it comes to backup centers. Ooh, Nerlens Noel it would be the perfect center, actually. Yeah, I'm taking that Nerlens. Wow, Killian, ha Killian Hayes is a 77 overall. That's wild. What we're going to do is Nerlens Noel trade, and we get a first-round pick back. Do that a million times. And before I go to the rotation, let me fix Braun number over here, who might retire after this year, to be honest. Let's see. There's no reason anyone should be wearing number six. Someone is wearing number six. All right, let's see who's wearing number six. Oh, crap. Number six is retired. Who? Am I tripping? Who's number six on the Knicks that's retired? Well, you're going back to 23, Braun. And I want, I want to see that. I didn't know number six was retired on the Knicks. Uh, where would that be? Team retired jerseys. Number six. Oh, they up. Did they update 2K? Oh, that's crazy. They updated 2K where they retired it all for Bill Russell. I did not know that. That's actually sick. Good job, 2K. You did something right. They retired number six across the league just like real life. All right. That's actually dope. All right, we're going to move Ludor to the shooting guard or Amari. Amari? Should we move Amari? Uh, I guess Amari probably because Ludor's a better defender. And we are not going to run a 10-man rotation. Uh, we are going to run a 9-man. And yeah, this this team is all set. I do want Obi Toppin to be our 6-man because he's been playing so good this season as a starter. We bring Nerlens Noel back to New York. And this is a championship team without a doubt. Damian Lillard, RJ Barrett, LeBron. We got the young gun and Scoot Henderson. Brought in Jacoperto. So is this going to be LeBron's year? No. Okay, he's not his last year. So he has, what, a player option? Yeah, he's going to decline it because he's making $0. But we might be able to bring him back after this year. But that, what a hell of a trade deadline. Let me just, not contract extensions. I wish in 2K, in real life, if you trade for a player, you're able to sign him to an extension immediately, I guess. I wish you could do that in 2K. But you cannot. So, you know, let's bring in Isaiah Thomas to try and fill out the roster. Let's bring in another center. And Hassan Whiteside, and I think that is the amount of people we can bring in. So, that 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 is what it is. And we'll simulate to the end of this current season and see if we can make the playoffs. 
I think we can. Oh, oh let me move the switch to positions first. Uh, so you go down to a 76, 75 for a Mario, right? That's that's perfect. All right, this this is a playoff team. This is actually a championship team. This ain't no playoff team. We're going all in on this year, because the minute we win a championship with this Knicks team, I'm starting a new series. <laughs> and New Orleans Noel is already hurt. Awesome. We don't really have a backup center, so I guess that's where. Yep, Hassan Whiteside, you're getting minutes, not you. Hassan Whiteside is going to be getting minutes for our team. This is not good. Okay. Hassan, don't let us down. But yeah, the, if we win a championship... If we win a championship this year, I'll probably play one more year. But if uh, the next two years will be the last of it if we end up winning a championship. Uh, because I'm not going to keep going with this series too long. I want to do other teams. Uh, so, yeah, that's it. Let's hope we get no other injuries, please. That'd be nice. As we're ending the season off very strong as we should. Just trading for LeBron James. I feel like our team got a lot better. We traded um, DeAndre Ayton for one of the best players in NBA history. And we might be a 50-win team. Nope, that just ruined our odds of being a 50-win team. We do beat the Lakers. Hold on, I want to see this box score. LeBron facing his old team. Damian Lillard drops 33 points. LeBron had a terrible game. And Ayton dominated us. He is killing it over there. In LA, last two games of the regular season. Can we win them? We go 49 and 33 to end the season. Jokic is your MVP. Whoever this guy is is your rookie of the year. Keegan Murray, sixth man of the year. Anthony Davis on the Seattle Force is your defensive player of the year. Tyrese Pro Proctor, is that how you say his name? Whoever that is, he is your uh, most improved player. And JB Bickerstaff of the Cavaliers is your coach of the year. All NBA first team, we do get LeBron James. All NBA second team, we do not get anyone. And all NBA third team, we do not get anyone. No one on any defensive team besides LeBron James. And the all rookie teams. Did we have a rookie? No, we did not have a rookie. All right. So we are currently sitting at the five seed. And we're going up against the Brooklyn Nets, who do not have Kyrie Irving. Okay, yeah, Kyrie Irving is gone. So it's Ben Simmons and Kevin Durant. So I think we're better than this team. Definitely think we're better than this team. We were two games behind them in the standings. The Cavaliers were the one seed. Obviously, it makes a lot of sense. Rockets were the one seed out west. The Lakers did not make the play in. They ended up going down to the 13th seed. And the Wizards were the worst team in the NBA. Player stats on the year. LeBron James led us in points. We had three 20-point plus scorers. So LeBron, 24-8-8 eight and eight with a steal and a block. Amazing. R.J. Barrett had a career year. 24 points, 5 rebounds, 4 assists on amazing shooting. Damian Lillard, 50-40-90 club, 23-6. and six. Scoot Henderson, in his second year, 16 points, 4 rebounds, 7 assists. He got better even with the addition of Damian Lillard. Obi Toppin ended up playing better off the bench. He went up to 11 points a game. Let's see what his stats were off the bench. He averaged 12 and 5 off the bench on about the same shooting. Lou Dort gave us 10 points. Jacob Pertle, 9, 10, and 2. Hassan in that one game had 9 points, so that's solid. Uh, Amari Bailey, 6 points in his second year. He went down, but that is fine. Going into the first round against the Brooklyn Nets. We dropped the first game. Oh, KD. LeBron should be... No, LeBron is not guarding him. RJ is guarding him. No, no, no. This cannot happen. So I'm going to put... I am putting LeBron on Kevin Durant this this second. LeBron James, you are 100% guarding Le, um, Kevin Durant. We cannot have this man do anything. Deny the ball from him. Deny the ball. Where's Ben Simmons? We are going to on-ball pressure. We are going to... I mean, create for himself too much room. For, yeah, he's not a good shooter. We're gapping him. We're, we're, we're gapping him. Off ball pressure. We're gapping him. He ain't going to shoot. And we're going to force him. Nah, we're not going to force him anywhere. Let, that should be good. Let's we'll see if that works in game two. It does not. Kevin Durant drops 30. And Ben Simmons drops 25. And just like that, we're down 2-0 in what should be a championship year. This is not good. This is not good at all. I don't, whoo, boy, oh boy, you're all forcing my hand here. LeBron, you got to be playing 40. Oh, that many minutes. Scoot Henderson, I'm sorry, your minutes are actually going to go down. I need LeBron playing. We cannot go down 3-0. We 
We go down 3-0. We lost by one. We lost by one point. Wow, bro. It was De'Aaron Sharp. It wasn't even KD or Simmons. Oh, this is, yep. It's 3-0. This is do or die now. Nerlens Noel, I'm sorry. You guys are not. It's not happening. It's not happening. We cannot lose. We cannot go down this easy, bro. With the trades we made for this year, we cannot go down like this, getting swept in the first round by our rivals. We cannot. We're going. We're going down. Did we come back? Wait, we lose by one. Back to back games, we lose by one, and we get swept in the first round by our rivals. What a decade at 45. LeBron. LeBron. They were one of only two teams to sweep. What a disappointment. RJ Barrett, where were you? 16 points on 40% shooting? LeBron, where were you? What an embarrassment, bro. And they end up losing the second round to the Cavaliers and the Houston Rockets with, Ky with Kyrie Irving are your NBA champions. We just gave up the house for LeBron. For what? For what? To lose and get swept in the first round? That's not the way. That's not, We were supposed to be a championship team. This was supposed to be our year. And we sold. The Suns get the number one overall pick. We don't even have our pick. We gave it to uh, the Lakers, but it doesn't matter. It wasn't going to be good anyways. Wow, bro. Um, I'm starting to have some questions for Gene over here. There might be some better coaches around, like Ty Lu. I'm sorry, Gene. Ty Lu's here. I'm giving Ty Lu the bag. I'm giving Ty Lu the bag. And Tyron Lu's our new coach. He already coached LeBron to a championship. Can he do it again? Can he do it again? Uh, damn, we got 75 overall? Center with... Hell yes. I'm not going to sign this dude. He's kind of ass. With a 20th pick, we get a 75 overall center. He's probably in the rotation immediately. Uh, we're not accepting your contract. Oh, boy. I hope we can bring back LeBron. If not, we're in trouble. We are in trouble if we cannot bring back LeBron. We do have bird rights on him. Thank goodness. We're bringing back LeBron for a year. He will probably retire, but that is all right. This is our last window. Our last window to win a championship. We can't afford anyone else anyways. LeBron James. Uh, Yaka Pertle. I don't even think I have bird rights on you anyways, so. And now signing LeBron James, we got to try and look for a cheap center. Oh, we can we can bring back Yaka Pertle. Done. That's a done deal. I don't know if I want to bring him back on a three-year deal. But that is, that is an easy deal. I'll bring him back on a three-year. Definitely will do that. Because he's probably our best option if he wants to sign. Thank you. He's definitely our best option at center. Uh, there are still some solid players left. Like, we can fill up our bench still. So, what are we lacking? Literally every backup position besides our bigs. Gotcha. So, backup point guard, John Walls here, Cameron Payne. There's not much, actually. That's bad. Uh, we can bring in Max Struess, Derek White, and Karis LeVert. We can bring in one of them. I think I'd prefer Karis LeVert. I think Karis LeVert is the best player available. That we can afford right now. And he'd be a great six man. So let's bring in Karis LeVert. I know he's 30. But he'd be a big help for us. And are we going to bring him in? Like what's we, we, taking so long? There there are some still players left there. We need a sign. Back up point guard. Yikes. Yikes, yikes, yikes. Emmanuel Moody is coming in as our back up point guard. This is not going to be a good year. We can still bring in Luke Kennard. We can bring in Chris Boucher. We can be a backup center for... Uh, we don't even need a backup center. What? We can trade him. Uh, Luke Kennard, I will 100% bring you back. And I think that's all of our offers. We bring in Chris Boucher, who I might trade. But I can also use him for... Uh, like, injury purposes. Someone gets hurt. Terrence Mann. We could move him to point guard, so I'll bring in Terrence Mann. I was trying to get players that, like, say someone gets hurt. I know can fill in. Uh, I should probably get a just-in-case center. A just-in-case center, but there's not much. Like, we're, we're hurting right now. We are hurting. Keita Bates-Diop. Welcome to the team. 
We're going to Terrence Mann and Diop. I think they both signed. Yeah, they did sign. All right, and like uh, tradition, I signed old ass players, and that should be it. If they want to, if they sign, you guys want a contract? Thank you. Player progression: LeBron gets worse, Damian literally gets worse. Our window's closing. I think this is our last opportunity. Dean's on the last year of his contract, uh, and LeBron is probably retiring after this year. If he doesn't, we can bring him back. Our team is not looking great. It's not looking great. But it's still a championship contender. With LeBron James as a part of this team, we are still in the hunt for a championship. And we would do so next season. I'm simulating the whole season. I am simulating the whole season because I want this championship. So we look at our starting lineup. It's the same as last year. Running it back. Obi Toppin. I think our bench got a lot better, to be honest. I think our bench definitely got better. Uh, Terrence Mann... I'm going to move to a point guard because Moody just ain't it. So Terrence Mann is going to be our backup point guard. Goes down to a 74, really? We also don't have a backup small forward. So who wants it? Who wants it? Kennard goes up too, but he can't play defense. Um, Bailey's better at defense, so he's going to be that backup small forward. And he's actually our sixth man. All right. Uh, Chris Boucher, we're gonna... Where's that young... Where's our rookie? This guy. No, I'm sorry, Chris Boucher. You're not gonna be playing. This guy has got to play. He's gonna be playing 14 minutes. I wanna see what he's all about. I wanna see what he's about. Mari Bailey is our sixth man. We gotta give Scoot more minutes. Alright, there's a rotation. I really don't care too much about Braun playing in the regular season. I think it's good to, like, limit his minutes a bit. So I'm actually gonna put him down to 28 minutes. I know that's a bit of a risk. I know. But... Let's simulate this first game and see what happens. We lose by six. Obi Toppin was our lead. Let's pretend that game didn't happen. Let's simulate against the Easter Conference champs. We lost by 30. See you guys in the next episode.